Happy Lunchtime Friday. Hey, in the past, I've showed what Revenue Ops was on Lunchtime Friday, and that got a lot of views, and I'm glad people are starting to talk about RevOps. Uh, more specifically, on the consulting side, I also talked about DevSecOps and DevOps and the difference between them. In the future, Lunchtime Friday, I'm going to talk about FinOps. Today, Data Ops. What the heck is Data Ops? Sorry for the accent. D-A-T-A Ops. Well, first off, you complete a huge ROI. That's always great to have environment is part of it that you get small bags of money to get larger bags of money. Again, think like a VC. Today, as people come out of COVID, either you've bankrolled a bunch of money at the organization level and you want to put it to advantage now to set up a differentiation among your organization versus others who did not bank that amount of money, or you have to use the precise amount of money to actually have a huge dividend. So you're all doing all mobile, mobile first, customer centric all the time and using AI. And you might say, well, geez, if you're going to spin up AI, you just need data scientists. True, you got to create data models, but you're already taxing your IT organization with legacy apps, just keeping them afloat, keeping the lights on, keeping them from not busting at the seams and working on cloud native apps and actually moving transformation over. There's not enough IT resources available for data ops or the ops of data ops. So you have the data scientist, the data engineering, which is very, very helpful. That's very important. You put the data ops in play and then you get a results-based delivery where you've actually taken the expertise, I think, across the pod environment. Because across the great resignation, if you hire two people, you may get outbid on either one of them. And by the time the whole uh, filtering happens through the process, you may not get the person you really want to. And if you do, you don't. You got to pay for returning email and attending meetings, et cetera. If you pay for a pod model, you only pay for the time they're actually hands down taking it on purpose and actually create a data ops model. And I think in a pod environment, it makes an awful lot of sense. So hopefully that helps explain, explain what data ops is, whether you're MIT or Sanford or Fortune 500 or emerging company, and you want to put AI and ML to use, and you need some operations help in a burst format, maybe a pod of six people for six months. Hope that really helps. Have